Good morning. Welcome to Peak Week Vlog number two. I am making my breakfast. I just woke up. I weighed. I went to the bathroom. I took my vitamins. I haven't drank any coffee, any water, nothing. I'm making my breakfast because I'm hungry. I split this into two different bowls so I could have two different flavors of pancakes. So I have 40 grams of oatmeal um, blended so it makes a flour, 80 grams of pumpkin, and then I have 10 grams of peanut butter chocolate whey in these pancakes. And then in this bowl that I'll cook next, I have um, 10 grams of s'mores. These are probably just about done. Maybe I'll give them another second, but woke up yesterday. Yesterday was um, Saturday. It was seven days out. I woke up 123, which is a new prep low. Coach said it's the freakiest look I've had. This morning I was 123.6, so up a little bit, but I kind of killed myself in my leg day. All right, so I got my little pancakes here. I'm just gonna pour them on there. And I am gonna start my next batch. So let's give this a little spray. It's kind of really hot, I might turn this off. I just put these in little dollops. Oh, and then there's salt, stevia, and um, cinnamon in the batter as well. So this is my off day food. Because I don't train or have cardio on Sundays. Five grams of whey, I'm going to make a little sauce so four grams five so just whey and then a little bit of water I'm gonna get it from the sink I hope that's not too much you this is just the same bowl so it still has some pancake stiff in it My favorite thing about not working on the weekends is um, being able to create and I haven't done that until right now the last couple weeks only because I've been following a meal plan and it's just like easier. But this is the same exact food that I would eat in a bowl, literally, um, but it's in pancake form so it makes it feel really fun. So I just have a little sauce now. I, oh, actually, I don't think I have any Walden Farms. I think tomorrow I'll take out all um, artificials, but I'm not going to do Walden Farms because I haven't been doing it. I'll just have um, my sugar-free syrup in my coffee, and then I might have a little bit of Diet Pepsi today, but I think that will be the end of the artificials for me this week. Oh yeah, these ones are perfect. Oops. I'm also excited to eat egg whites and eggs, which is weird. Most people get out of prep and they're like, 
never want to eat egg whites again. That's kind of how I feel about mustard. I like, um, I've used so much mustard, it feels like the last couple weeks that I'm excited to be done with mustard, but, um, egg whites. I love that all the time. And I love spinach and I love avocado and eggs and toast and English muffins. I'm going to show you guys what I'm bringing. That's what this is going to be. I'm going to show you guys what I'm packing. Today's Sunday. If I didn't say that we leave, um, Wednesday. Got my sauce. Do a little drizzle of that on there. And again, this is just whey and water. The Jewett whey. That's good enough. I'll just eat this. This is my left hand, so I might overdo it. Come on. Okay. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to enjoy this. Getting my uh, couch cushion. Because it hurts my butt cheeks. Yeah, to sit on these chairs. Anyways, this is breakfast. Pancakes. Yeah, let's try them. Mmm. That's pretty good. Alright, I thought that I would kind of take you guys through what I have been packing and kind of how I'm packing um, like my supplements and stuff. So we leave Wednesday and I um, will be there until Sunday. So um, I'm taking my wolf pack with my meals for Wednesday. It's a really short flight, but that will just have like my meals and notebook and computer and um, book you know, the necessities. I might even end up not taking it because it might just like be another thing that I have to take. Um, but I'm taking my, uh, this little suitcase as my um, carry on. And in here, right now I don't have everything because it's Sunday, but I have um, some of my makeup, like I have these backstage just in case something happens with my lashes. But I have my suit in here that I will take um, as my, in excuse me, in my um, carry-on because I don't want it to get lost at all. And then in here I also just have like my stage jewelry and um, I need my heels because I'm checking in um, every day this week, multiple times. But those will also go on my carry on. And then in here right now I have my backstage blanket, um, which will <clears throat> stay in here. And then I just have my bands and one thing of almond butter, um, which I actually am going to put in there and I'll kind of reorganize my backstage bag once I am in Seattle. Um, but this will come with me on the plane with my suit and my heels um, and maybe some of my makeup just in case. Like it's a short flight and I shouldn't lose my luggage at all, but don't want to risk anything. And then I have my giant suitcase that I'm not going to show you, but in here right now so far, I have lots of things. I And I have to pay for this because I'm flying Delta, which is kind of annoying, but I have these little packing kits. So in here, I have all of my um, canning supplies. So I got slides because it might be rainy. It probably, actually I looked at the forecast in Seattle and it's not gonna be rainy. I think Saturday is gonna be like 80 degrees and sunny. Um, these are the slips I wear backstage and stuff. And then I have my outfit that I'll wear after I get tanned and my robe for backstage. And I just like to organize them in these little things because it makes my mind really happy. So I have all my tanning stuff that I will need post tan, including my um, sleeping sheet so I don't ruin the sheets. And I'm also going to bring a 
full size sheet. I need to look up the Airbnb and see what size bed it is. I think it's a queen, but um, and then in here I have my um, some of my supplements. So I have nature's column on the top and it's labeled and this bag is being checked. So um, all of this is fine with TSA. And then in this one, I think I have creatine and glutamine in the bottom. That's something I have every single day. Um, we'll keep all of that in until probably Friday. I have a one fourth um, measuring spoon for my salt. I still need to get salt in here. I have, um, these will go in my backstage bag. They're just like um, cashew butter and sour cherry spread. Don't know if I'll use these, want to have them to be prepared in case I do, but these will get transferred into my um, my little suitcase when we get there. I just don't know if they can pass through TSA um, being a carry-on. So I have these. I have cinnamon in here. I have another one of these of salt in my wolf pack that I have at all times. And then I have some candy, um, mostly for post-show. I'll probably put a couple of these um, in my backstage bag just in case I need something. I am packing just two Ferrero Rochers because they're my favorite. Um, and then this crystal light mix. I do this in my nature's calm at night, just a little squirt. I'm also bringing a mint arrow bar. I've never had this, but I went to a, um, Whole Foods place and they had it and I love mint. It's like, a I don't know. I think these are in Germany or something. Got that. I got this for my coach. He loves white Kit Kats. So I'm going to bring that for him. I also got these for my coach because he tried these after our big sky show and he said they were like the best things ever. Um, but I saw them the other day and I was like, I have to get them for him. And then I bought this yesterday. It is milk chocolate caramel pretzels from Target. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have bought these if I'm being honest, but it is what it is. Becky, it is what it is. I got socks and underwear for the week. Like show day, you don't need a whole bunch of that stuff because you're literally naked, like most of it. And when you're not naked, you're um, in your tanning clothes because you are getting tanned. And then next in here, I have um, some exfoliant stuff because you have to exfoliate yourself like every single day leading up to your tan. Shampoo and conditioner. I just put them in these little bags that I bought on Amazon just so they stay um, clean or whatever. And then in this bag, I have my post-show outfit. I actually have a couple choices. Last, or in Missoula, I brought heels and I was like, I'm not gonna wear heels post-show. So I just have like a black dress and a long blue dress. This is what I wore after Missoula. Um, let's see what else. On this other side, I have black sweatpants because I am freezing 89% of the time. I have crappy um, blades, twin blade, whatever, so I can shave myself. I'm bringing my microphone so I can vlog. I got my little bzzz, um for my coffee and BCAs and whatever else I need. I saw this on Instagram. I think Alexis Adams or um, her best friend Olivia or something posted. This is like a formula dispenser for um, baby formula. But right now in it, I have my fiber supplement in one. This one is my BCA just enough for the weekend so I don't have to pack like the whole entire container. And then I have digestive enzymes in this one, just like pills. But what you do is you swivel this little top part and then you can just like dump out what you need. Um, so this is a really nice hack. And I'll probably use this like year round, not just for show day weekends, but face wash will go in here. So I don't have to bring the whole thing. Like I'm all about efficiency. I have a colored towel because I don't know what color the towels are gonna be at the Airbnb. Don't want to ruin anybody's stuff. So we got that. And then I have a big kit. Another one of these full of all my makeup. Um, like too much. Like won't use all of this. I have um, 
baby wipes, brushes, um, just various things that I didn't even use last show, but peace of mind. Um, I'm an overpacker, so eyelashes, razors, makeup, palettes, because I'm doing my own makeup again. Um, and that's all I have in here so far. So the only things I'm going to add, I'll show y'all um, later, is a training outfit. Probably like a, a travel outfit for when we come back. And then I'll add my like, um, I'll freeze chicken, I'll freeze shrimp. I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and buy the rice packets um, instead of like freezing rice. And then I'll freeze some asparagus and zucchini um, to take. And I'll just freeze it all, put it in Ziploc bags, maybe in one big Tupperware so it doesn't get all nasty. And that will go in this check bag. Um, it's short travel, so it shouldn't be too bad. But um, yeah, I might even put my food and my check on. I don't think I can. Anyways. So I'll add food in here and a couple of outfits and I should be good to go. I'm getting excited. Yeah, there's not too much that I need. Really, like as long as I got my jewelry, my suit, my heels, my makeup. Oh, and I have my hair products. Those are in my bathroom in one of these as well because it just makes it super easy. I am going to prep my meals for today before I have a hair appointment at 10 and then I have a manicure appointment at 1. So we're starting to get glammed up. So, um, one of my meals, this is my off day. So I have 100 grams of zucchini. It's a lot of zucchini. I'm going to have to make some more today. 100 grams of zucchini. <clears throat> 80 grams of chicken. Just shredded chicken, nothing fancy. And then I'm gonna salt them all when they're done. My next meal is asparagus and shrimp. So I have 100 grams of asparagus. Perfect. And 85 grams of shrimp. So I'll just pop 85 grams of shrimp in there. Last meal is 50 grams of spinach. And 50 grams of lettuce. Come on. Come on. 80 grams of chicken. Each meal gets a quarter teaspoon of salt. and mustard all right so i'm gonna do this honey habanero on my salad that sounds kind of good i'm gonna put green sauce on this guy just a sprinkle and then mustard is gonna go on this one and this one and one line there just for fun and then these this is what I'll eat today before I go to my nail appointment or I might pack my next meal I have um, 30 ounces 30 ounces I have 30 grams of oatmeal peanut butter and pumpkin and whey my only other really carb for the day and then tonight I have my creamy today is the last 
today I get to have my creamy so I hope it's delectable but meals are packed for the day um just some nail appointments nothing crazy going on and maybe we can decide what cookies I want to bring but pop these in the fridge and then um normally on Sundays I would prep my food for the week or at least like Sunday I normally prep for Monday, Tuesday, but since it's peak week and the plan is gonna ebb and flow, um, I'll get my plan tomorrow, prep that because I'm working and then the rest of the week I don't work and I won't even be here, so. So just gonna get my um, 90 grams of strawberries right here and I'm gonna get 20 grams of peanut butter. If you don't already, make sure that you put the peanut butter on the scale so you can lick your spatula. So that's 18, that's 22, put a little bit back, perfect. So this, oops, for, to put on top of my creamy tonight. See how this turns out? I made, normally I would microwave this and make it into like a cake. It's basically the same as my last meal, but less carbs um and a little bit less protein but i'm just gonna i kind of put a lot of water in here i'm just gonna cook it like that so we'll see It didn't really work out, so now it's just a pile of pancake, and it's kind of burnt. But I also get peanut butter with this meal, 20 grams. Mmm. It's 10 o'clock. My sister's late, so I'm going to eat this. Drink my water. You need that brace. And we're going to get our toes done. Got my toes done. Did a baby pink. I don't love it very much. I wanted to do white and then I changed my mind because you know what type of people get white. Um, I just went and tanned for the last time in the tanning bed. I'm gonna grab my next meal and then I'm gonna go to the store and then I have my fingernail appointment. Okay, we got my nails done. I haven't had acrylics in a long time, so this is going to be fun. Um, however, I am sucking the Heinz tit because your girl has 2,400 steps. So I need to get 10,000 steps. It's 155. I'm going to go to Albertsons and walk around because it's raining outside. And then I'll probably have to walk on the treadmill tonight but ah oh, they're so cute we're at Costco and guess what this is not even because we need anything <laughs> actually turkey bacon Libby needs turkey bacon <laughs> and Lainey needs at least 10,000 steps so Costco Ooh, and I gave myself a limit of two things that I could buy if they look really yummy and they can't be pastries because they'll go bad and they'll be here if it's something special. I don't Mom know. Mom said there's good carrot cake though, so we might have to take a look at that. Yeah, but also that's something we could come back, you know? But what if it's only during like this Easter, you no. know? What if they won't be here? <laughs> I got this for my coach and I because this was something, a treat that we bonded over when we went to Bend, Oregon for a different show last year. 
And then we also got, um, Libby got turkey bacon and a pair of shorts. He, my brother recommended these Kevin um, natural food things. So we got um, a Thai style coconut chicken. So it's chicken and like a sauce, I believe. But um, got this that we're gonna try next week. And then also a roasted garlic chicken one. Um, the ingredients in the macros are really good. We got a chili sauce um, for our shredded chicken and just to put on stuff. And then this was our little treat that we got, milk chocolate truffles. If you haven't had these Utah um, sea salt toffee ones, they're so good. This one's a mint truffle. And then we almost got a thin mint um, pretzel, but I convinced myself that I didn't need it. So on to the next store. Hi friends. Oh man, the last couple days have honestly been really tough. Um, especially yesterday and today. <laughs> uh, about three o'clock or after that last clip, we left Costco and I was like, like holding my phone, moving my body. Everything just feels like the end of the world. It's honestly something that like a feeling I don't think I've ever felt outside of prep. Like being this lean honestly makes me feel like shit. Um, do not glorify leanness. Um, yeah, anyways, so we, my sister and I went to Albertsons. We walked around Albertsons, walked around the chef store, walked around a bunch of stores. Honestly, didn't get very many steps. We were walking the speed of snails. Um, so I got home and I was like, shit, it's five o'clock. Ate my meal five. And then I was like, oh, I don't have any food prepped for tomorrow. Tomorrow's the only day that I work. So started prepping my zucchini, realized I don't have any asparagus, had to go back to the store. Anyways, poor planning on my part, but, um, Honestly, I feel quite stressed. Um, that end of the night kind of like get everything ready. Anyways, this morning didn't go as planned, so we're all good. Got everything figured out. Um, tomorrow's the only day that I work, so I have training and cardio and stuff in the morning like I do. <sighs> and then, um, yeah. Tuesday I don't work which will be nice because I'll be able to prep all the food that I need to pack for the trip um but I've just been taking angry laps around the neighborhood in between shaking my zucchini in the air fryer just a little frustrated with myself mostly but um cortisol is the enemy right now so I just gotta keep it together um we got six days six days but I made my creamy this is the last one I get. My last creamy of prep. It's kind of sad. Um, it is chocolate peanut butter, I believe, with cinnamon, see stevia, salt, cashew milk, um, and that peanut butter. And I ate those strawberries that I prepped earlier as I was prepping the rest of my stuff. But meals are all ready for tomorrow. Um, Anyways, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer at all. I'm just like talking out loud, I suppose. But um, I'm just finishing out my steps. Takes what it takes. I'm glad I didn't have cardio today. Should have planned my day a little better, but it's all behind us. So um, almost done with my steps. I'm just going to walk until my watch rings. And then I can finish this in the bathtub and go to bed early. I know it's like barely seven o'clock, but it's like the end of the night where I'm like, I have one hour until I need to be in bed. <sighs> so I probably won't vlog anything tomorrow um, cause it'll just be like the same stuff that y'all have seen, but I love you guys. Happy six days out. Um, peak week, I guess technically for me, I'm calling it starting tomorrow, um, but I'm going to eat this, take a bath, go to bed. Good morning. It is Monday. 
of peak week. I just spilled my coffee all over my car, which is super fun and fresh. It's about 6.25. I woke up at 5.25. Um, just took a little slow morning, you know? I got a deload, upper body day. I mean, nope, lower body day. Normally I have upper body today. And then I got my 40 minutes of cardio. So I'll do 20, train, do my other 20. Hopefully I have time for that. If I have extra time, I'll pose. If not, I'll pose during lunch or when I get home from work. But it's gonna be a good day. Today's the only day of the week that I get to go to work, which is really exciting. But let's go, let's go, let's do it. Oh, check-ins this morning were really good. I weighed 123.6, which is the same that I weighed yesterday probably the tightest I've looked. I don't know, we'll see what coach has to say, but I thought it looked pretty good. I'm gonna be late for work and I don't even care because I just wanted to finish everything so I could be done for the day. So now during lunch, I can go home. Actually, I'm probably gonna go to Winco so I don't have to go tomorrow and I'll buy some asparagus and I'll pose but look at my tie-in right there look at it what is that I've never seen that before look like that shook but it's gonna be a good day I'm happy got it all done it was beautiful I feel so much happier when after I train so much I just went to Winco, probably my last Winco haul of prep. I got, I'll show you when I get home. All right, let's do a little food haul of what I got at my last trip to Winco. All right, starting off, we got some zucchini. I just bought four because I just need, each one is about 100 grams cooked, I think. So I need four days of that. So four zucchinis. I got some shrimp just cause it's easiest. It's already cooked, but I like to put it in the air fryer or the um, on a pan. I'm gonna cook this right now. Yeah, I'll cook this now. I'll cook a zucchini probably tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make chicken nuggets out of some of this breast. Some of this breast I'll make into cracked chicken in the crock pot. I bought three things of asparagus spears, which I'm also going to cook right now during my lunch break. It takes about, I don't know, 20 minutes. So just three of these. Asparagus is so expensive right now today. I don't know for what. But um, I also got a head of lettuce because I didn't think I would need lettuce, but I do. And then I bought strawberries for my last meal. This pumpkin is going to go with me in my suitcase. Cream of rice, this is going to also go in my suitcase. And then I bought my mom um, Greek yogurt. That's not for me, but I bought this for me. And I thought about eating it two times. Obviously, I'm not going to, but. And then I bought my best friend at work, her favorite blue raspberry ice, and I'll bring her these. But that's my last food haul of prep. Here is a recipe that nobody asked for, um, but I make my shredded chicken in the crock pot. This is the oldest crock pot probably in the world. So this is boneless skinless breast. Um, I like to get them and I like to get a little knife and I like to trim the fat and then I'll pop them in here. I feel like I am always in my car 
when I'm telling y'all what's up. But that's because I just run around haywire the other 99% of the day. I'm gonna be late back to work, prepped a ton of stuff. I feel really ready, even though I have all of tomorrow to prepare myself as well. It's just nice getting it done. Um, so some of those clips you're seeing right now, I'm prepping asparagus and chicken, but I'm gonna cook my chicken and chicken nuggets tomorrow, but I made a marinade, made some shrimp, made my meals, assuming all stays the same for tomorrow and Wednesday. Made enough asparagus, I think, to get me through Thursday. Weighed out all my oatmeal and my protein powders. $300 worth of cookies. And they probably weigh at least 35 pounds. <laughs> Let's see what we got. So this is a time lapse of my sister and I trying to decide what cookies I wanted to bring um, because my coach is also bringing some cookies and there's going to be a lot of us there. So I wanted to make sure that I had what I wanted and I was bringing enough cookies that other people could eat. Um, so I think we ended up with six cookies. Good morning. I woke up at 4 30. Here I am. New low this morning, 122.6. Sending my check in photos. Well, I'm gonna, I got my suit on. Then I'm gonna go do my fasted cardio because I don't work today. So I'm just gonna go do my cardio, come home, eat, do whatever. Probably go back to the gym around. Mm, depends when I eat my first meal. Probably like 10 or 11. Okay, I'm just gonna check in. <laughs> it's almost 8 o'clock. I've procrastinated this long doing my cardio. I'm still fasted, but I have about half a gallon of water in me. Um, today I have a gallon, 0.75 water to have. Um, but I'm gonna go knock out this cardio, finally. No more procrastination. All right, it is about nine o'clock. I'm getting, driving home, and I'm gonna eat my first meal. I'm really hungry. I'm really cold because of my Yohimbi, um, but I'm going to eat my first meal. I'm going to get some stuff done, a little bit more packing, and then I'll eat my second meal probably probably around 9, 10, 12 noon, and then I'll go train. Yay. I forgot to update you guys. My check-ins, my coach added um, 45 grams of rice to meal three and four, so... Yay! I am walking, just a digestion walk. Um, after I ate my meal too, my next meal will be my pre-workout meal. I'll go. I have upper body pump. Come on. And then um, we'll probably eat again. Take another little stroll. Yeah, we're feeling good. I just have been deleting a bunch of pictures off my Google Photos so I have storage because I want to take so many pictures. There's only one time that I get to do this this year, like in, you know, like lots of times I can prep, but never this exact prep and I get to prep with my coach, which is really special. But yeah, I feel good. I'm excited. I just pulled back up to the gym. It's about one o'clock. I feel really extremely tired um i should have taken a nap honestly i still can after this um i just upper body pump so it shouldn't take me very long probably like 35 minutes and then i'm literally gonna go home and take a nap because i Woo, I'm struggling. Probably, yeah, take a nap, go for another walk. 
I'll see you guys later. Soaking up some sunshine. We finally have it. And I'm at the point where this posing suit like doesn't really fit my top or bottom because I'm puny. I'm eating, I think 105 grams of rice because I added those 45 grams um, to the 60 grams of rice that I have in this meal. Already, I have 100 grams of asparagus and 85 grams of shrimp. I'm gonna watch some YouTube, just soak in the sunshine even though I'm a little bit cold. Um, yeah, yeah. Hi friends! It is about, come on now, my phone won't work. I think it's 6, 610. I did not take a nap. I packed some stuff in my laundry. My skin looks awful. Um, my hair looks good though. I'm eating my last meal. I have a scoop away made into a paste, 100 grams of strawberries, 25 grams of peanut butter. Um, I just dipped the strawberries in the peanut butter, in the waist, in the waist, in the whey paste. Um, I'm so tired. I'm going to literally eat this and then go take my bath and go to bed, I think. Even though it's so nice, it's like 65 degrees outside. I just literally want to go to bed. Um, one, because it kind of feels like Christmas, like we get to go tomorrow. But also just like prep. I posed earlier in the sun. Here we go. A little bit of a little posing. Um, tomorrow we travel. And I'm going to make a part two of Peak Week of all of our travel stuff. One, so you guys can kind of stay a little more in the loop. And then um, just for fun. A little more travel. Never hurt nobody. So, um, Jim was good. I am going to eat this. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. When we're in Seattle. Yeah, let's go. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful day or night or whatever time it is where you are. And remember that you can do hard things and you are so much more capable than you think you are. So keep fighting the good fight. Don't procrastinate. Okay.